Hey everyone, Christian here, and this is uh, my attempt at doing a palm vlog in a very tight area here. This is uh, Chamberonia species Huelu. So, as you can see, it's not spelled the way it would be pronounced in like uh, in, you know a Germanic language. But uh, but yeah, this is a very cool palm that is closely related to Chamberonia macrocarpa, the flamethrower. But um, it is. It differs in many aspects, and I'm going to kind of go from the, the bottom up because I don't have a whole lot of room here. This one's a decent size. It's about to put some trunk on. And uh, first of all, in a regular Chamberoni, you're going to have um, a much greener crown, and this one is like a lime green. It's not the yellow you would see in Chamberonia uh, hookeri or Macrocarpa subspecies hookeri. Um, I don't know if they actually they, they decide to separate that into a species or not. And uh, it uh, it has very thick these leaves are like cardboard if obviously you can't feel them this one is uh, one of the oldest leaves but uh the leaves are much thicker the crown is much uh fatter and more stout and it's overall kind of just a more like robust plant i guess you could say um there aren't a lot of these that are of any size in florida they're around but they're they're compared to regular macrocarpus they're actually quite rare and uh and quite pricey as a result um they do grow pretty well here in Florida, but there are, you know, they, they don't grow, grow nearly as fast. There, you can see their their petioles here are almost rounded, and that's just, actually there's a little bit of like a watermelon sort of color going on there. Kind of cool. Their leaves are uh, their new uh, leaf is not nearly as red. It's more of just a, a lighter kind of light red, uh, kind of pinkish color. But what it lacks for in the color on the leaf, it kind of has a stout uh, robustness that really is. Uh, you know desired by collectors so uh, to give you an example here's a hooker eye leaf chamberoni hooker eye this is more like leather so this is going to be more like cardboard and that's kind of how you can tell the difference it's just so thick um you know it has that rough feeling about it um so these grow near the area i don't know if it's huelu is a town or an area in new caledonia i believe it's an actually a, it's a, it is actually a town uh, it has a little bit of elevation to it so these actually do really well in california and are very popular in the area as a result like as are many New Caledonian palms because of their their ability to grow so well in uh, subtropical and Mediterranean areas. Uh, they do, however, I wouldn't grow these in full sun in Florida. I see most of them growing in shade. Sorry, getting bugs on my neck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they they, they are um, they will always enjoy some shade to really look their best. Although they will grow in full sun, you're going to have to fertilize and uh, water them quite a bit to kind of keep that green on them. So uh, the seed on these are actually, they're, uh, you know, they look almost, they, they, they have a little, I'm going to say they're a little bit smaller, but they're the way that the indentations on the seed are, they're more pronounced, if I can remember correctly, but I could be wrong about that. I'm, um, but if you get seed of it, you'll kind of notice the difference between this versus the uh, macrocarpa. So what, what this is, whether it's a species or a subspecies, is still kind of undetermined. Again, sorry that the, it's very hard to kind of get a good, let me see if I can kind of pan a little bit here and kind of get in the crown. There's a good feature of the, of the top of the leaf there. And uh, yeah, they just, in general, their their leaves are much more arching. You can see the, the arch there versus hooker eye, kind of just hanging out on a flatter, not a flat plane, but just flatter and um, they're more upright too as well. Even though this is in shade, you don't see these leaves just flopping around where this one's kind of just hanging out and the other one up here is just kind of hanging out. And I'm gonna do a vlog on hooker eye um, when I get a chance. And uh, there's actually a reverse cross between hooker eye and macrocarpa. That's kind of like, a, they call it the watermelon variety. So I gotta get this other leaf out of the way to kind of get a good view. This is actually a pretty decent view now that I've I managed to just move this one frond. But, um, but yeah, you can see that the new, if you look here, one thing that's very cool, and this is in a lot of palms, not just uh, Huelu, but uh, right there is the new spear. You can see that there's a little bit of an extra piece of uh, material on the top of the spear. Now that is there. It is believed that that is there so when it emerges through the canopy, the spear does not get damaged when it, when it like, will hit like a hard leaf or a branch. It'll kind of break off and save the spear from being damaged mechanically. So, uh, which makes sense because you can kind of pull it off with some, uh, you know, with, with some, with some effort, but go ahead and leave that on. If you see that on, an, on a, on a palm, it's usually on crown shafted palms, but you can see it on others as well. 
and the other side the the underside here you can see there's quite a curve here at the base where the rachis meets the uh the leaflet and uh everything about it's just much bigger broader stouter than your macrocarpas and your hooker eyes uh more upright just more of a rigid plant um again they do all right here in florida they're not it's not the easiest grow i mean it is it's actually not too hard but you got to give it uh, got to give it some shade got to give it some more of a, a moderating uh climate to be able to really do well here but throwing these out in full sun is not a good idea where macrocarpa can grow in full sun but um but yeah they still look very nice especially when they get older uh, and have that that stoutness about them so i bet uh surf nma could throw in some comments because he probably sees these in habitat which he's very lucky to do and um yeah the the uh you know, it, it is really kind of a really cool variation on Chamberonia. I hope they do decide to kind of figure out what it is and, um, you know, get it to get a, give a, a species name to it. So hopefully that can be done in the near future and uh, I can call it something else other than just the, the locality where it comes from. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, it's sorry, just real tight in here, but uh, I wish I could show you a lot more about the plant, but I just can't get in there without being blocked by something else uh but yeah if you enjoyed the vlog give it a thumbs up um if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and uh hit the notification button and you'll see me go live a lot and uh we'll go palm searching and we'll have we have a lot of palm related activities pras and uh if you have any questions about Huelu, um go ahead and leave it down below and i will see everyone next time thanks for watching